amazing what you can do with a lump armor and a nail. First job, pushed up. Second job, guess who escaped out of their pen? So gone all night last night. They're everywhere. Genuinely. Everywhere. Look at that mess there. I thought one was dead this morning, it was just let out. Oh, I think a piece of string's broken over there and they've got out. Sick. Come here. Hey, up, back, 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 back. Hey, up, hey, up. Come on, hey, hey. Here. Hey, hey, hey! Two, one, two, one, two, 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 one, 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 What's good about this telly, I'm like, you don't have to put your hand out the window because the screen is actually clean and you, if it is dirty, you can just use wipers that work. Oh my God, what is the world? What is this world that we live in? So good. I can't put things in one-handed, which is annoying. You know, the bar. Oh, but you don't have to get out of the cab to do it. Oh. Video. Good morning everyone, if you haven't already don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the bell bell, you get notifications of my videos every Tuesday, Friday and sometimes we do the Sunday midday. Oh, in today's video, a bit of a big day, got a lot of stuff going on, um, but this morning I'm doing something I've never done before which is pretty cool, uh, obviously we sell a lot of our beef through the farm shop, it's the best way to make a bigger margin in my opinion, but because we've got a few more cows on, we produce a few more beefers and we produce some more cows and whatever and we've got a lot of Anguses anyway and the farm shop takes about one a week I would like to increase that I would like to do some online sales but it's just not going to be the time I haven't got the time to even think about it at the moment so I'm not doing it it is something I would love to do in the future but right now it's happening so I've got a bit of excess the beef price is flying at the moment uh, lamb price is doing even better but the beef price when I say flying it's good the beef price is good so what we plan today is to sell some beef I've organised it we're going to put it through we got some Angus beef we have eight Anguses over so we're not you know we're not taking over the world but it's something that is very very cool for me anyway first of all I've got to feed the cows and uh, as everyone knows my luck with shear grabs is not good I broke the one over the road yesterday uh, it wasn't my fault, I literally grabbed it and it broke its side so I don't think it was my fault, maybe I put too much pressure on it and on my shear grab, this pin's just starting to come out and like, that's why we've got dangly bits here, dangly bits because it came out of dad like probably before Christmas, a long time ago now and um, he rammed on it, pushed it, smashed those rams about so yeah, that's what I'm doing now to get a hammer and smack it in it's not technical at all, but it will work, fingers crossed Very annoying how to go around the hall. It's amazing what you can do with a lump hammer, a feeder, and a nail. Oh, fixed, you boy. Right, so what we're going to do is take the top off that, chuck it into there for bedding, and then we'll take that grab off and I'll chuck it on the floor. That looks like rubbish as well, so I won't use that. Is my plan. You guys. Up here. Explain that in a minute, um, but yeah. So I've got a pile of grass there that should do me for these guys, and then we do bring about two ton back home for the 
dry cows as well. So I'll try and get the top stuff for this because the top stuff is the bottom stuff, which is the first cut grass, which by the way was so good this year. If you want me to do a video on what our first cut grass was, I will do. Send it to Farmer Theory and even he was impressed. Consider we do a three cut system. Um, the beet pulp, we didn't want to order anymore. Dad didn't order it, but we've got to not order it. So they were just sending it. Bit of a quick one for you. Fed it the cows. Cows were great, they milked off it, it was pretty much the same as maize. Problem is, it's full of energy and I think it's full of calcium and like other stuff. And the way we do our cows, it's 10 to 14 days for carving. We bring the milk, the dry cows, in with the milkers. And that really, really affected the milkers and it gave about three cows really bad milk fever, like bad. And we don't really get that many cases, probably three or four a year, maybe. So I had three in about 10 days. And I was like, what is going on here? And then we realized it was the beet pulp. So beet pulp works if you don't have any dry cows in with the milkers. I know that ideally it doesn't work, but for us it has worked for ages, but then, when we've changed this, it didn't work. It was great for milk, it was can, it did hold it, but for our system, it didn't work. So actually, I've, it was here and it's cheap. It's like, it was 67 pound 50 a kilo. A kilo? A ton. <laughs> it was 67 pound 50 a ton. It wasn't really expensive for you, considering everything else that we feed, uh, but it just didn't work. So if anyone is looking at buying, just check out what's in it. It's fine, it, it worked all right, it did hold milk. Unfortunately. So yeah, we stopped feeding the dry cows. Fortunately, we didn't have that many dry cows as well um, in the milkers, but soon we're gonna have a lot of cows carving. Just, I don't know why, we're all year carving, but it's just happened, so that's what we're gonna do. Right, I'm gonna go home, that's all sorted, and then we'll bring the tractor back, and we will load up. Just back at the home farm, like my farm, Burke's farm, and the farm of the road's called Home Farm, so that's what we're doing. But yeah, we're just back in here. So what I do is we load up uh, for the young stock grass like the corners of this silo clamp just because if you know if you've got anything that's a little bit ropey we do the corners here and then they've got some good grass here's first got grass then the rest of the beet pulp i'm going to use and then uh, a bit of selco as well so it's high in protein so it gives the animals something to grow with and then the others i just do grass with the barley with a bit of beet pulp now that i only started yesterday so that's kind of what i'm doing it's not really what the video is about so i'll do some quick like time lapsey stuff and then we'll get exactly what the video is about we're selling some animals the oldest animal on our farm is going and doing something that hopefully might make us a bit of money and pay a couple of cake bills off because they're getting rather long much. More cows, more cake. Just fed the little one. I'm gonna leave you here because we're gonna load up four. Beepers. Two tonne. I actually normally make it to about two two here. But because we're gonna get rid of a few, I wanna say a few, we're gonna get rid of eight. Um, they're eating about 25 kilos each. Eight times 25 is 200. I think I'm probably overfeeding them here, but I'd rather overfeed beef stock because you want them to grow every day. Some of them can't bother getting up, but some of them have nice good feed this morning. Mick pushes up for me in the morning and the afternoon. And we trade that for eggs, absolute legend. A lot of chatting. Tom, you can edit quite a lot of this out. Just not about the video, but I think it's quite interesting. It's all right. It's a bit of a mess. I should tie it up, but that Jay Z did. They have two normally but one's broken down, so it's one between everyone, so everyone's gonna go to shed. Show you the beef stock while it's nice and look at the size of that. Flying. They're looking so well. So we're gonna get rid of eight of these today. Two into the farm shop, six into woodheads, and then three cull cows as well. So busy day, busy, busy, busy. These are the smaller ones. So what the plan is to have these in there, and then the four biggest ones, because if we take eight out of here. Well, the biggest one to there takes a little bit of pressure off that. See, so that's a nice size animal as well, isn't it? Real thick. Real thick. Real thick. Right, I need to get home, feed dry cows, feed heifers, feed Tom, sort out the cool cows, get the trailer on the tractor, get here, and then um, get the animals ready for picking up all four, half ten. Yeah, and I'll talk more about it. But anyway, I'm going to do all those jobs, at least feed myself, and then we'll uh, catch you. Ladder on if you don't mind.
but that's my morning feeding. Normally it's a little bit quicker, but obviously had to jump through a couple of hoops this morning. It's fine. I'll take the rope a bit smooth sometimes, don't you? Legend this cow. 641. Absolute legend of a cow. Oldest cow on our farm. 15 years old. She was in calf. She bought it probably three or four months ago. It's sad. But she's just showing reduced in movements. I don't have to show you, but like yeah, she's showing intakes are decreasing, reducing <laughs> movements, rumination. Um, she's just getting old, I think. 15 years old is a great, great innings for a cow. She's on 99,500 litres of milk. So yeah, I wanted to get her to 100,000, but she's never gonna make it. And she's just looking a bit sad, so third time to go. And then we have these two. This is actually an Aberdeen Angus, and that is meant to be a Holstein. I don't think it is. She only drops about 19 litres of milk, and she only drops about 24 litres of milk. Time to go. They're fat, aren't they? That is fat. That's the passports. So that is very, very important information. So the cow is so old. Does anyone remember these? That is a, um, that's how the passports used to be, like a booklet. And now they're like a piece of paper. At the end of this video as well, I'm gonna, we're gonna see the animals we're gonna send and I'm gonna tell you how much money we got per kilo and how much money we got. I think which is quite interesting because everyone talks about stuff. No one talks about the numbers and the, of how much money you received. I think it is important for people to know who farming. Like say milk price, milk price is not good. We do we going up. Beef price is good and lamb price is fantastic at the moment. I don't know what pork price is doing. I don't do a lot with pork. It'd be interesting to know, and I'd love to do a video on pork. Lee Gilbert, so the guy who did the sheds for Clarkson's farm, he actually invited me to go around to his place, which I'd love to do. Which I'm gonna do actually. Cool. They loaded up very, very well. Very happy with them. Got it? You brought all the numbers down for me. What you gave me? I've got them, yeah. Right, that's all done. Loaded up. The guys who pick up from the farm shop is coming in 40 minutes as well, which is fantastic because that means everyone's going to come at the same time so we don't have to keep going back and forth, which is amazing. Wagons here. Holy moly. It's a big ass wagon. We are here, everyone. Da, da, da. They've all got ticks, means they've all got passports, they've all got tags. I know, I'm just, I'm just the best. Let's take a photo for later so I can do the movement off. Anything that comes on the farm, needs to move it on. If it comes off the farm, needs to move it off. And then these are the guys that are gonna go that we saw this morning. Big booties. in and then the two that I've got. The beef stock going. What do you reckon they're gonna grade out? I'm sending that little video I did on my phone to Joe Seal, see what he thinks. Beef are there and now the beef that we sent for our lot and um, the stuff that we've kept back. So I've got is get that one back and this one. Yeah. Oh, well, steady idiot. There's some nice animals. What a busy day, busy morning. Beef is gone for the farm shop. We'll have a look at that on the hook. Some people on that one might not want to see it, but the last footage we got of the uh, the boner, uh, boning house of uh, beef, it went down really, really well. 
Do we grab four out of here and chuck them in there? Or do you want to scrape that up whilst that's... Yeah, that'll do. So we'll see that, and then what I'm going to show you as well, tonight or tomorrow, depends if the bellies need clipping out. They were quite clean, but the bellies were a bit dirty. If they need clipping out, what we'll do is we'll get our results tomorrow. So it's really fast, a really good service. So I've done, it's just taken five out of here. Five. One, two, three, four. Five. So that is the end of that. And I think I have to apologize. I just watched the whole thing back and it's chaotic. I think the audio is a bit off. You couldn't really hear me. You'd hear a lot of the tractors. There'd be a setting on there. And the other thing is, well, I feel like it was just jumpy. I think sometimes you need videos like that, especially someone like me who's always on the go. I need to go watch a video back and go, just calm it down, slow down, explain what you're doing. Anyway, we had six beef cattle go and three cool cows. One of the cool cows of the Aberdeen Angus actually they classed as a finished store or finished. So that let's call it seven and two cool cows. And they actually got it wrong. The bigger one they classed as a cool cow and the smaller one they classed as the Aberdeen Angus. I'm sure it's the other way around the passports, but I don't know, I'll have to speak to him about it. But I am pre presently pleased. We'll talk about the finished cows first and the cool cows is a really, really nice surprise. Obviously it's the end of life, it's meat, it's what we eat. Um, but it's just interesting to do something different for me. In an ideal world, all my beef would go through the farm shop. The beef in the farm shop is getting better and better and we're getting even better feedback, which is class. The butchers are loving it and it's amazing. But this is kind of like a means to the end. We've got a system anyway, finish them off and get the best value of the product as we can. I don't really understand this. Um, ages 20 to 26. Type was we had three C's, three E's and one D. D might be cool cow class maybe. They were all Aberdeen Angus, which means we get an 8p more for everything we sold for the uh, finished cattle. Weight wise, small one was 289, which was the um, cow that we sent. And they gave us a lower price at £3.75 for that compared to the base price for finished cattle is 502 with an 8p premium for the Aberdeen Angus, which is amazing. Weights were between 313 cold weight. So if you double it, we've probably about 626 to 345, I double it again, so you're about 690 kilos. I think from looking at this, I think we could go a bit bigger. You would have to watch it, it would be a good experiment for me, but the problem with the Aberdeen Angus, they can get a bit fat. Graph of fatness and confirmation, I think. I could be wrong, it's all on here. Fatness goes from one to five H, and the confirmation, I think, goes from E to minus P. Perfect kind of weight to confirmation is three to four L and R to O plus. Um, we got seven out of seven were in the right weight category. So anywhere from 280 to 400. That's why our heaviest was at 375, 345, sorry. And I feel like we could push it to like the 380 mark. The weight classes we got, we got five at O plus four L. We got one at O plus for H, which is a bit fatter. That was the only one that was out of the green, like for the perfect category. And we got a really good one at R4L. And the R4L, we got maximum price for it and the 8P levy. So we got £5.10 for each kilo of cold weight. Five of them, we got 502. We got 490 and 475 for that smaller cold cow again that was Aberdeen Angus. So I, I don't really understand that. I'll have to ring him and explain it. It's my very first time. I'm finding this really, really interesting because if I'm honest with you, something's coming up as well. I'm looking at a bit of a share farming, share partnership on top of something else we're doing. So this is really interesting to what I'm kind of doing and going forward. And price wise, that's what everyone's interested in, let's be honest. Prices. Uh, for the small cool cow Aberdeen Angus that got classed in that group it was £1,084. It's okay. Uh, I'm not too happy with that uh, just because the other ones are really good. And then we went from 1572, then we went to 1661, 1682, 1700, 1708, and 1761. And that was the one that got the perfect weight. Um, so it does pay to get it bob on. If they go too fat, they get deducted in price. Um, so that 502, so five pounds 02 would go down to like 490. So every single kilo would get a 12p deduction. So it costs quite a lot. The cost was a 12 pounds for pickup uh, for each animal. So that was 84 pounds. And we got no belly charge, which is good. So no clipping out the bellies. They were happy with the cleanliness of the cattle. So that means that was going to be eight pounds an animal. So altogether it came to 11 £1,169.29p and then with deductions was 
£10,924.13. p. The cool cows, which is really interesting, obviously we had our 15 year old cow and then the younger cow. The younger cow was 33 months old. The 15 year old cow was 176 months old. Absolute legend. It's sad to see them go, but you know, it's kind of the cycle of life. Uh, for the cool cow, we got so my GoPro ba battery just died. Oh. For the big cold cow, we got a price of £3.55 per kilo of cold weight. And for the big girl, we got £3.70. Uh, the cold cow was 301 kilos and the big mm -hmm. one was 373 kilos. Mm -hmm. I've never got a thousand pounds for a cold cow, I don't think before. And this time for the big for the 15 year old cow, we got 1,071 pounds 39p. And for the other girl, we got 1,258 pounds 74p with a grand total of 2,330 pounds and 13 pence. And altogether, I think we got 13,100 pounds, which is a really, really good result for us. Um, for something we were looking for an outlet, obviously for the cool cows. The cool cows normally go to another man who's absolutely class, um, but obviously they were picking up, so it made sense. Didn't get charged for bellies, which is amazing. Um, so yeah, it's really good. It's just another niche and another kind of string to the bow of something we kind of can draw in. We've got the setup anyway. And like I said, ideally all our beef would go from the farm shop and that would make sense to us, but it can't all happen at the moment. I'm growing it. Obviously I want to progress the farm shop loads. I've got the share farming stuff going on. I've got loads of other life going on. It's really, really exciting and it is pretty, pretty cool. If you've got any questions, put it in the comment section below. I don't know if I've got the grades for the cool cows. I think they are here. Yeah, okay, so the grade for the cool cow was an uh, O plus four H and then a P plus three. Um, so they're both in the orange and red kind of category, but they're both in the good weight size of 280 to 400. Um, I couldn't push them because they're milking. You don't really can't do the same as a beef, um, but it's something to learn. Hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. I'm sorry for the chaoticness at the start. It's calmed down completely this side of it and two cameras. This one died on me, um, but yeah, it's great. It's been chaotic day today. Uh, chaotic. Joe's not very well. Harvey got an infection from his vaccinations. Luke's gone home because he's not very well. And um, just life. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. If you've got any questions, put it in the comment section below and I'll try and answer them as quick as I can. If you like that question, like it and get to the top of the comments and I'll reply. Love you all. See you later. I was going to put the end of this in um, its own video on Sunday, but I decided, oh, mum's going to be here with the brew. Um, Please don't get my goods on my cloth. Yeah, I've heard this is going to be in because life's getting busy again, which is really, really good. See ya. Bye.